And so it's Brooklyn sitting on a 21-point lead to end the quarter. Their defense has been terrific in this game. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much here with Nick Nurse. Coach, the efficiency wasn't there in the first half. What adjustments do you need to make? I thought we got pretty good shots, you know, and if we're not going to score, it makes getting our defense set up difficult. So we got to keep shooting them. Hopefully start making some of them. Now you can't score until you shoot, Coach. Thanks. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. This home crowd is elated about what they've seen so far. I'm Ernie Johnson. That's Shaquille O'Neal. That's Kenny Smith. James Harden led the way in the first half. He had 25 points, five rebounds, and two steals. He's definitely heated up over the last few games, and we're seeing some of that same recipe here tonight. And from what we saw so far from the Nets, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Well, they knocked the win out of the defense in transition, converting fast break baskets in volume. It's a runaway lead right now. In fact, this looks like a track meet. Shaq, what'd you think about Philadelphia? It's their defense that's put them in this spot. Giving up easy looks all over the place. It's like they don't have any game plan in place. Check out the field goal percentage that they've allowed. Oh, that's not going to cut it, honey. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. No <sighs> and it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. An exceptional performance so far from James Harden. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. Yeah, he's got that locked-in look in his eyes tonight, and he's not going to start taking it easy. I think he's going to be going hard until that final whistle blows. And with the second half upon us, We'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. And on the floor for Nick Nurse as we get into the second half. Pam Adebayo is out there with Jeremy Grant. And there's D'Angelo Russell. Then it's Walker. And it's Bridges in at the two. The three from Harden gets it to go from beyond the arc. Harden's got 28 points for the game. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooting. Here's Walker. No good off the back of the rim. Fantastic positioning there to contest that one. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, he challenged the shot, and you can see the effects on the release of that shot. I mean, it turned a simple jumper into a tough one. Robinson misses. And, and, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. In transition, here come the Nets. Robinson with the jam. Robinson. Nothing soft about the putback there. And, and why chance it, right? Take the dunk if you've got it. Well, you know, if nobody's going to put a body on him, then that's going to be the result. Russell from long range. Another miss by Philadelphia. And out of the gates here in this second half, they have not started well. 0 of 3. Shot by Collins, no good. The 76ers have gone 0 of 3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second half. Walker. He doesn't hit that one. Collins with some nice D for Brooklyn. They've gone two of five shooting here in the third quarter. Oubre dishes to Robinson. Stolen by Walker. And here's the fast break. Russell leading the way. Misses the wing jam. Since halftime, scoreless in their first five attempts. It's been ugly. Harden, that's good. Harden, so smart. Really good at finding ways to capitalize inside. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Searching for that first bucket here in the third. Timeout called the 76ers. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. And the Nets making a change here. Zeller's checked in. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Get to Digo. That one good from Autobio. From about the extent of Adebayo's range, just far enough to keep the D honest. Pass to Collins. For the three. 
And it's Russell with the rebound. The 76ers have gone only one of six in the field in the third quarter. Not how they pitched the half start. But nice timing on these jumps. He's somewhat on the small side for a power forward, but he just never gives up. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And let's take a look at some numbers for Uber. He's putting up about 14 points a night, three assists, and three rebounds. The contributions he's been making on the floor have been a boon for this team. Great stretch of games for him. Yeah, you know, they've given him more responsibility, and he's responded, and the way he's going, I think his role is only going to increase. Harden hits them both. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Russell high post. He's got five. Zeller grabs the board. Zeller's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Osman, the pass to Zeller. The shot will not fall. Philadelphia shooting about 35% from the floor. Not much falling for them. And here's Walker outside. Rebound, Brooklyn. Not a bad look for him on that shot, but it just doesn't seem to be his night tonight. Here's Osman. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Osman's got 10. The ball yeah, movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And so it looks like the 76ers okay. will retain possession here. A moment here now to see the numbers for Bam Adebayo. Outside, Walker. Russell against Harden. Russell kicks to Adebayo. They grab their own miss. And here are the Nets. They're on a 12 to 4 run. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thanks very much, Kevin. We have seen officials cracking down in recent years on traveling violations. The sense from the league was with the freedom of movement rule changes, it was becoming almost impossible to defend if ball handlers get away with, let's call it extra footwork. It's been an adjustment for the players, but they're talented enough to make that adjustment. Kevin? Yeah, they are. You're right. A high skill level indeed. DA, thank you. Here is Harden after D'Angelo Russell's bucket. Here's Zeller, and they pick up two. Boy, like most guys, a comfort zone inside for Zeller. The closer he is, the more effective he is. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Russell, no good on the shot. Good D by Harden. You know, he looks a little off-kilter to me this quarter. Still trying to find his rhythm. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Philadelphia has gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. The shot by Autobio, no good. The Nets have gone 7 of 12 from the floor since coming out of the break. And finished off by Oubre. A powerful finisher. Oubre Jr., you deserve to get dumped on when you let him get inside. Philadelphia shooting just 33%, struggling to get good looks. To the paint, here's Grant. Collins comes over with the double team. No one near Adebayo as he lets it go. Good, and Grant gets the assist. No hesitation from Adebayo there. I had to love seeing him taking this shot with confidence. And finished off by Ubre. Some slick passing from Harden on that one. And Philadelphia has possession. Following this one, they get to host the Cavaliers. That game is the first and last of their homestead. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. Boy, he has put in some major work. He's earning his pay, for sure. Wow, wow he got wow. whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for Brooklyn. 
They've been so aggressive getting out on shooters all game long. Nothing's getting past this defense, and that, to me, has been impressive. And one other thing they have done well has been scoring and transition, looking to run whenever they can. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. Zohan's checked in, and it's Kobe White in for Kelly Oubre. White. Basket good. Kobe White's got eight points. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. The last five trips they've had have ended with a great pass leading to a basket. They're really sharing the sugar. Pass to Autobio. Brooks outside. The shot from the low post is good. Ten points for him. And here are the Nets. They're on a 17-7 run. Joseph, the pass to Zeller. It's good. Corey Joseph is reliable when it comes to sharing the basketball, and he knows it's his job to involve his teammates. Here's Brooks. Brooklyn with the rebound. Zeller's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Out left of the wing, stolen by Thompson. Here's Brooks. Brooks can't get that one to fall. The Nets on offense. They're on a 19-7 run. Light the pass to Sohan. And he finishes nicely on the way. Sohan's got his second bucket of the game to go. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive. And it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. And so it's Brooklyn with it, following the miss by Jeremy Grant from deep. And White kicks to Joseph. Another shot, and deep. Zeller drops it in. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And there's the pass to Autobio. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Last two minutes to play. Nifty move. Good, and Grant gets Bad. the assist. Grant's got three assists in the game. And terrific to see Autobio putting up big numbers. He's continuing to grow as a scorer. Joseph finds White. Now Zeller. Rebound by the 76ers. Autobio's got rebound number 13 with that last one. Philadelphia's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Vincent with it. He's covered by Joseph. Vincent misses. Here's the teardrop. A nice shot by Zeller. Zeller. Zeller's got 10 points in the game. You know, Zeller is no stranger to contact. As a matter of fact... I like the combination he has of both finesse and power to go through that kind of defense. And the second chance becomes a dunk we could feel over here. GA such a good, aggressive play in the paint. Guys, it's all about persistence on the offensive glass. You just can't ever give up on a play. Now here's Brooks. Ten points for him. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And for their shooting numbers, not a strong suit for them this season. Top 20 in field goal percentage. 76ers have been good at the free throw line in this one. Seven of eight. And that one falls for Brooks. Robinson's checked in for Jetty Osman. Philadelphia also making some changes. Luke Cornett, he's checked in for Bam Adebayo. And it's Maxi Kleba in for Jeremy Grant. And it's Joseph with the ball. He'll bring it up for Brooklyn. To the left side wing. Zeller finds Joseph. And the three off target. Got a piece of it. Here's Vincent. He's covered by Joseph. Vincent's shot is good. And you can see the defense broke down there, allowing him to get all the way to the hoop. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Jump ball.
and Philadelphia has possession. Philadelphia is shooting pretty terrible here in the third quarter at around 30%. Let's a floater go. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got eight rebounds in this game. It's White on the wing. The three from Joseph. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's Brooklyn with a 34-point advantage heading into the break. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. We'll take a quick... And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Well, you can't run away from the DNA. When he's running the show, he makes sweet highlight reel plays night in and night out. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. So with Harden on the bench, this is the group that Jack Vaughn has right now. Batuma's out there with John Conshaw. Then it's Yurtsevin. Then it's Evan Fournier. And it's Joseph in at the point guard. And it's Dunn penetrating, and the layup is good. Dunn finishing in style, and the explosion to the hoop. Powerful. Pass to Yurtsevin. Yeah, another turnover. But guys, on the whole, I think they've done a great job of running their offense without too many miscues. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Excellent example of toughness and physicality on defense. Got his nose right in the middle of things and made a play. Now, here's Dunn over Joseph. Anjar with it. Fournier in the corner. Releases from 15. Good, he hits the jump shot. From the mid-range area. Fournier, very, very gifted. Uh, as a pure shooter, he's as good as we have in the league. Done with it. Picked up by Joseph. Here's Christopher. Trains the three-pointer. Christopher. Christopher's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. A shot by Batum. No good. 76ers have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. Hakez with the bucket. Smooth reverse. He knew just what he was doing there. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. A steal. He's all alone. Rebound, Brooklyn. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. Ball. It seems to Jump me ball. they've gone after this win a little bit more. And Philadelphia has possession. 76ers have gone 3 of 5 here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Christopher, that's tipped. To the inside. And the dunk by Batum. Yeah, the clever Frenchman. Fournier solid at recognizing when the defense isn't covering one of his teammates. Pass to Cornette. Here's Hawkes. And with this new CBA, great for the first time, team and league licensing revenue, about $160 million a year, is to be shared with the players. And I think that's probably jersey patches and, and stuff like that. It makes sense that the players should get a share of that. Shot by Joseph. No good. You know, even though they're on top in this one, Corey. you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. It sure would make things a lot easier, too. Here's done after the basket by Brooklyn. Pass to Cornette. Here's Christopher. Just five on the clock. Driving inside. Lays it up and banks it in. Christopher. Christopher's got five points in the quarter. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Now here's Joseph. Matum finds Joseph. 
Here's Fournier, and that one is good. Even when the defense is right up in Fournier, he's still tricky down inside. Constantly figures out ways to keep the defense guessing. Here's Dunn. Brooklyn foul. Nicolas Batum. First personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for Philadelphia. Chris Dunn. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Well, I tell you what, Dunn does a little bit of everything out there. A stat sheet stuffer for sure. He scores it, he passes it well, and he um, also gets to the glass from his position. James Harden, he's checked in for Corey Joseph. The 76ers also with a sub. Walker's checked in for Luke Cornett. Harden dishes to Fournier. And now Dunn pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Can't connect from short range. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. And Philadelphia has possession. Following the bucket by the Nets. Dunn shot is good. Tell you what, guys, there's no way you're stopping Dunn when he's that close to the hoop. To the middle. Here's Conshaw. Walker with the rebound. Walker's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And he's going to get whistled for that foul, G. That was intentional, but not exactly logical. <laughs> How about pointless to foul there? I mean, I don't know where his head is, but it's not in the game. Here's what Brooklyn's going with right now. Collins comes in for Yurtsevin. And Kelly Oubre subbed in for Conjong. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Bridges misses. The Nets have gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Oubre passes to Collins. It's good. Collins has got 22 points. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. Down against Harden. Kleba, the pass to Dunn, and he uses the glass on the layup. And Dunn is spectacular on the drive, seeking contact and getting it. Even more impressive that he makes these shots, too. Down low, here's Oubre. It's good, the assist that time from Harden. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. You know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Chris Dunn picks one up. Phenomenal body control from Harden. Superb at just knifing inside and forcing the defense to whack him. Free throw good, James Harden. And Greg, while the commissioner might not like player trade requests, Kevin Durant said it's great for the league for players to have that leverage. Where do you stand? Well, I wouldn't go that far. Uh, the main thing is trying to keep those requests in-house. Otherwise, it can be deflating for fans. And it's Russell missing. And since halftime, he has just been ice cold. Just can't seem to get anything to go his way. Well, I tell you, that was double duty right there. He influenced the shot and then got back Second and cleaned the glass. Ball. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Yep, the next one puts them on the line, so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. Here's Walker. And that one is off. Great D that time from Oubre. To the paint. Here's Sohan. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. He is delivering a lot of room service times tonight. One sweet one after another. Here is Harden after D'Angelo Russell's bucket. And again, another assist. And that's his 20th assist. Wow. Just doing a great job at orchestrating the offense. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for the 76ers. Goes up with the stripe. Collins grabs the miss. He hasn't had it offensively tonight. This team needs him to play better. The 76 is shooting 44% in the fourth. The offense with some ups and downs. Gets it to go. That one good from Autobio. 
and, and he is no stranger to physical basketball. Adebayo has to deal with plenty of contact down low. Harden finds White. Back to Harden. Fires the three. Bridges with the board. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now, here is Russell. Another three yeah, for Russell. Philadelphia. A good look there. And he didn't waste it. His second three of the game. Harden gets the bunny. Harden's got 11 in the second half. Well, I tell you what, with Harden, sometimes it seems the more the defense bodies him up, the more determined and effective he is in scoring. The defense did a really good job of choking off the middle there once he got inside. Oubre kicks to Harden. Three-pointer. And they get it back. Bridges with the steal. Here's Russell, and he makes good on the way. 14 Russell. points for D'Angelo Russell. Taking the hit and still getting it to go down. Russell what? showing you some nice toughness Four there. Quarter. Harden's shot is off. Philadelphia's gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Harden, no good. The 76 is shooting a lackluster 38% for the game, struggling so far. Russell and the slam dunk by Russell. Well, I tell you what, such a smooth, tight handle. I mean, especially for a guy with a 6'5 frame and 6'9 wingspan. Outside, White. Harden, right side. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance. And it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the net. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And they took charge when it counted, and they'll be notching their ninth win overall. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. And it will be a fight. When you see an opponent that many times, it's inevitable that those games take on a little extra added meaning for the play. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for James Harden. He was doing everything right, and the points came in bunches. Definitely had the hot hand. Look, I'm not sure there's been another era in the NBA with so many fantastic passers at every position. Yeah, you know, I think it's a function of what we saw going back into the 80s with Bird and Magic and how they shared the ball with such great passers. Then you had another group of outstanding playmakers at the point guard spot and on the wings. Um, so now centers at this particular stage in the game's evolution are playmakers, excellent passers, and are players that teams can run their offense through. So I think it's just been kind of a, a natural evolution because of the skill level of all players when it comes to passing. Here's White after the Sixers pick up two. Here's Joseph. And the basket is good. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. Boy, they've given their fans plenty to cheer about, that's for sure. Effort, skill, coaching, you name it, they've done it. And it's the 76ers with the ball, following the bucket by the Nets. White against Brooks. Here's Zeller. Rebound by the 76ers. Russell looking it over. That's tipped. So it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks, guys. James, you had it going. How confident were you all offensively? 
I just want to do whatever it takes to win. Like, I, honestly, if I got to score a lot of points tonight, teammates were making shots, they were playing hard. Um, it was a great team effort. I, whatever the team needs me to do, I'm willing to do. Everyone was clicking the night, man, and it showed. Thanks. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up for Clark Kellogg, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K sports crew thanking you for tuning in. So long, everyone.